everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. We should have a good one on tap here today. It's the 49ers coming in at 4-1, and one, going up against the Redskins, who come in at 3-2. and two. Now for the call of this Week 7 matchup, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Washington Redskins and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Meanwhile, for the visiting Redskins, they come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. He only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And here's the headshots for the offense, and Carlos Hyde, a talented back. Has taken over as the lead runner. A terrific talent. Can batter you inside, but has more speed than what you expect to take it the distance. And ready now for second and nine. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone fraction defense. So the hard count gets them there. Neutral zone infraction. Yeah, the defense thought they had the timing down, but the quarterback hit them with a hard count, got them to jump. Here we go now. Boom, landed. Looking to throw. Forced out to his left. <laughs> it goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Now a handoff here to his running back. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And now a look at the Washington defense. Ryan Kerrigan is an example of bringing the best of you from college to the NFL and remaking your game. Terrific guy causing fumbles at Purdue. Has done the exact same thing in the NFL. Then lost weight and became an absolute terror rushing the passer. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And he'll be marked down deep in Washington territory. The gain of 39 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. 
three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Hey, 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 you got three, you got three. Here we go, here we go. Green, 39. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run high. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And they give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. And the 49ers grab a 7-0 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State, the former Spartan. It's Kirk Cousins. Forget the measurables. His temperament, which is so even-keeled, often masks a burning desire to win and perform. This guy takes it seriously when he lines up to play, and usually he puts on a nice performance. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the quarterback, he's got some big threats at wideout. And they seem to get bigger all the time, don't they, Brandon? Every time I look out and watch a game, we're getting these bigger, more athletic, acrobatic receivers. We have some today. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Shift together here from the D line. They will run again with Coleman. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. The tackle by Eric Armstead. And the 49ers on the defensive side of the football. Vontae Davis is one of the strongest cornerbacks in the league. Equally adept at playing the run and the pass. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. Set. Green 39! Green 39! On third down, Cousins. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down spectacular catch turns into a first down first down saves him from a three and out they'll run it now out of the gun and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48 give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one 
Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Second and very short here, less than a yard. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Let's go! Green, 39! A first down throw for Cousins. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now to throw on first down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. Seven-nothing is our score. We're back to Santa Clara after this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's Coleman, and he'll get nothing out of that one. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play, only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved before it's a fourth down. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive only yields three points. Yeah, they were able to move the football, but the defense stiffened once their backs were to the end zone, and they were able to hold them to just three. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, 
that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here we go now. Three, 19, three, and they'll go with a ground attack here. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well, they know how to protect the pass, but sometimes cornerbacks, they can also stop the run, can't they? Is that what we call a complete corner? Yeah, because we're so used to these guys just being defenders in the pass game. How about the guys who can come up and make the tackles? That's what we just saw there for no gain, too. Out of the gun now on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. It's taken to the 26. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Redskins will take possession with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on the play there so that doesn't help now they're looking up at a third and nine situation so nothing there I don't know that that's all in the back though you got to look at blocking there don't you I would agree with that totally at some point they have to win at the point of attack instead it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively six DBs in the game they go play action. Cousins. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Oh boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Niners are going to take possession, albeit deep in their own territory. And now the 49er offense ready to go and getting back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. 
and he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big time run, and the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you throw a lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. False start, offense. Eight yards to go here on second down. to throw. Incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target at its third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And if they want to keep this drive alive, they'll need eight yards here on third down. to throw and the third down pass falls incomplete we know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at about the 14. Oh, nice. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go up top for the end zone. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Josh Norman with a pick. He can be such a tone setter for a defense. His confidence has grown from his first snaps in the NFL. Found his place, found his way, and now... Everyone just wants to avoid throwing the football in his direction. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And some room to roam now. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Washington. Tevin Coleman, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Redskins have taken the lead. point attempt to come here. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. 
And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Carlos Hyde was the target. And that'll bring up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking deep downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. can be explosive and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route and you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us well you know something when you execute really well it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not but well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well he just took off and went and that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games isn't it <laughs> just go long Backyard. man i'll hit you and it worked really well for them now the try here for the point after Makes it 14 10. Now following the touchdown, now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. at Washington as they come onto the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense may be expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home... And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Eric Armstead. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Second down, Cousins. He's got time to the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup and get set as we resume action. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. Let's go, green, 39. This is Coleman, and he's got some space here. He's got the lane, and there he goes, 30. Touchdown, Washington. Kevin Coleman, 88 yards. And the Redskins have once again taken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown Marty there. Marty looking forward. Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Extra point forthcoming. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And got his man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. On El Paco, 83 yards. And the 49ers have retaken the lead. He's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. no doubt great job by the linebacker maybe the quarterback if he could have seen that could have audible there yeah he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense all the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle and he made a great tackle so we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you across the country to orlando standing by there larry ridley with our ea sports halftime report larry thanks brandon I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The 49ers are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Redskins just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. 49ers on their opening drive. Quick pass and completion is made here. 49ers now later on the drive. The run will go outside to the left here, and he cap off the eighth play drive with a touchdown. That puts them up by a touchdown. Redskins have it near the end of one. Cousins connects on a pass into coverage, and he'll be tackled at their own 39-yard line. However, they only come away with a field goal on the drive. Now after 
of the fumble. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Redskins defense comes away with the turnover. After the pitch, offense comes out now. Coleman's going to spin away, and he'll take this 80 yards for the score. That puts them up by a field goal. We move late into the second. The catch will be made deep down the field, and after the long pass, he'll score. The lead grows to four. Staying late in the second, Coleman's going to get loose thanks to great blocking, and he's going for the 88-yard touchdown. They go ahead by three. Still a little time left on the clock, and he ends up at their own 16-yard line before he stopped on the play. That'll do it for us here at EA Sports Studios. Let's get back out to Brandon and Charles for the call of the second half. Brandon. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. We get a look now at the 49ers defense as they get into position. They've got the lead here as the second half begins and looking to set the tone. I used to love those types of half times because you knew what was coming. When you're winning, coaches are usually a little more aggressive with you and telling you what you did wrong. But because you're winning, it kind of rolls off your back. So you just go back out and play the same way you did in the first half, trying to shut them down. Looking to do more of the same. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. Second down throw for Cousins. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. And some extra depth in the secondary here. They're in the game. Play fake. Cousins. And a sideline pass. That's caught by Thomas. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. That was a nice completion on an out route. And those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. They'll come out in the pistol. First down, here's Cousins. Throws a quick hitter on the slant, that's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. So the offense has it first and 10. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Right, here we go. Three, 19. Coleman. And an alley to run. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 11 on the game there. And it'll be first down, Washington. 
So much for halftime adjustments by the defense because you know they had to talk about it. The entire first half, they struggled to contain him. And here he is coming out in the second half and establishing the same tone. Still running the football with authority, still gaining big yardage. So I just figure in the offensive side, they said there is no adjustment. Until they slow us down, keep going at them, keep handing them the football. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Illegal block in the back. Offense. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A nice gain of 21 yards. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him, doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. So they're operating in the red zone. Play fake here on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. All right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> now on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Eric Armstead in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. drive now on third and a country mile. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Third and long for Cousins. On the screen, this is Coleman. Now a loose football. Coleman lost it. And he lost the football. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. And his kick here is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, Let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's, okay, that's what you worked on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back.
now out of the gun spinning past him and he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26 a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three and that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut and he's a guy that has some height to him so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash makes it a lot easier to stay upright see the field and make a run as we just saw there Second down, Cousins. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Going up top. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Washington. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redskins have once again taken the lead. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. We always talk about being able to go from zero to 60 real fast. Took him less time than that to get to top speed and complete that play. So they're going to go for two. Short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Well, Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. These guys flash so quickly, you're not sure where they're going to end up. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for the Niners. 51 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. So second and 10 here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. 
We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. All right, so this one's now back within a field goal. And if anybody tells you they see how this one's going to end, I'd have to say they're probably lying, Charles. And this game's had more twists and turns than a good mystery novel. And I have a feeling we've got a few more twists and turns in store for us before they shake hands here. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> if you love pressure, we'll, I see, love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. Here's the option going right. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They'll run it now out of the gun. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. On third down, Cousins. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. From the red zone now, Cousins drops it off for Coleman. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now a second down throw for Cousins. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback playing in that spot. Well, times have changed, right? The old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college with all the spread offenses, not very many pro style, where you actually have a true fullback. We're having to make do in the NFL and put guys in that spot who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position. Still first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose. 
huge yardage here. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Kevin Coleman, his third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that drive goes eight plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. <laughs> and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this kick. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you learn? You can still make plays even when the other guy's having success against you. a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, 60 Bs. Cousins from the gun on third. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, 
A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I could just hear in film session. But, Coach, watch left, watch left. I was throwing to Dodell Beckham Jr. Of course I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go Here deep down field to him, though. Such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. All right, here we go. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to air one out. And they went big on first down. Proves unfruitful. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And it's second down. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, trying to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And he's unable to haul it in, so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and... Well, 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And this will probably be the last play they can squeeze in here before the two-minute warning. Defense always has to be careful in this situation. A lot of teams like to take a shot. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So they run it on second down. Now let's see what third down brings here for the offense. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get... And the 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will give them a 12-point lead. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give them some breathing room and lets them build up a little cushion. 
Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now we get a look at the captain of this offense heading back out there now. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up, and they tend to play well. Holding defense. So the defensive holding penalty here, Charles. You get outside of five yards downfield and you get grabby with an offensive player, the flag will come out every time. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now a desperation throw deep. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, 49ers. Odell Beckham with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to go through. All right, now what can the Niners do as they face a big two-point conversion here? They'll try and throw for it. That's caught at the two. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. And they just about had to get that recovery to have any chance. They only have one timeout. You look at the clock, and let's do the math here, Charles. This, this one's pretty much over. Yeah, we do have a chart here, don't we, that tells us about the timeouts. You do. I'm not as smart as you. And, and, and in looking at it, you're exactly right. Chart's not going to help them here at all. They're pretty much done at this stage. They had to have that recovery. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. But well, he stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looks defensively. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for him. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set. 
but they still competed until the final whistle. So for Washington, their good start continues as they get their record up to four and two. And they'll return home next week to take on the L.A. Rams. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, the loss will drop them to four and two on the year. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And we'll get ready for the trek back to the city as we say so long from Santa Clara. <laughs>